melanin. Oh yeah. I got melanin. You bet. We got melanin. Hey everyone, it's Black History Month. I'm a firm believer in celebrating black history and I would not be doing my due diligence if I didn't come to you guys this month bringing you some historical facts about my people who have paved the way and made it so that I could be here. So today I'm going to share with you the story of Lloyd Gaines. Lloyd Gaines graduated in 1935 with honors. After he received his degree, he wanted to attend law school. He applied to the University of Missouri Law School, which was the only law school in the state, and he was denied due to being a black man. After he was denied, he linked up with the NWACP, which is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, for those who do not know, and essentially they took a case. His case reached the Supreme Court. The reason why that is super important was because the only basis for the University of Missouri Law School in denying him was that he was black. They even offered him the opportunity to attend a all-black school in which they would pay for it or attend an integrated law school in which they would pay for in another state. Of course, Lloyd didn't want to do that. So they took the case to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ruled that the state, based on the separate but equal doctrine of 1896, had to either one, admit Mr. Gaines, or two, build a law school, and a, a, a black law school in Missouri for black people to go to. So, the Missouri legislators, by no surprise, decided that they wanted to build another law school. Once the NWACP got wind of this, they decided that they were going to take the case, again for Mr. Gaines, but they were going to challenge the separate but equal doctrine. Historically, we know that separate but equal never meant equal, right? Essentially, separate but equal says that we don't want the races to mix, therefore we will make everything the same for them and they can go over there and be great and we can stay over here and be awesome. Essentially, that's what it says. We all know that that doctrine was never a true, right? Even to this day, there are still separate, but we're still separate by races in many spaces, and they're not equal. So we know that that doctrine is right. So the NAACP said we are going to fight again on the grounds that this law school that they are going to build or have built will not be equal. Before the NAACP could even take that case and move forward with that, Mr. Gaines went missing, which, as we know, people of color and people who are of majority culture, white people, as we know, there have always been terror attacks on black people who try to advance in this country. There are two theories that, that um, try to explain what happened to Mr. Gaines. One is that he was murdered and killed um, by those who did not want him to have the ability to go to law school. Two is that he fled for his life, changed his name, and lived happily ever after. It's really, really hard for me that he left everything to, um, to, to be safe when he put himself on the line for equality. It's very hard for me to believe that he said, oh, actually, uh, I'm just going to back out and live. No, I think he paid for this risk with his life. And so the reason why I wanted to share with you about Lloyd Gaines is because as many as, as you know, I'm a first year law student. Without his sacrifice, I wouldn't be here. And of course, there's plenty other sacrifices that we're going to get into um, in this series. But I wanted to start there primarily because I want to make you guys aware of the, the situations that happened and the situations that currently happen. Terror is still being used to deter people from pursuing equality. Still to this day in America. You can look at the news. I mean, even recently, even as of like a couple days ago, Jesse Smollett, um, famous entertainer and activist was attacked because he's an activist and because he is homosexual. Those are means of terror, right? So let's not act like people aren't still doing things to deter equality, okay? Um, that's a whole different conversation for a whole nother day. But I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. Let me know if you guys love this series. But again, I'm going to try to bring these videos to you every day. I'm going to try to keep them short and sweet so that you guys watch and share with your people. But my challenge to you is that you also find a way to celebrate black history. That you also find a way to impart knowledge upon others who may not be aware 
of the historical greatness that runs through the veins of black people, right? Or the challenges that black people face. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is your girl, Rose. Peace. I got melanin.